What's up, math parents? Uh, my name is Mr. Noy, and luckily your child is still in my class. It is now the end of January. We're starting February, new semester. So I'm pretty much gonna say the same stuff that I said in September if you saw my video, but here's some new information. Um, I would like to see you on March 8th and 9th, and or 9th, that's when parent-teacher conferences are. So please come in, I believe this one is the evening, and then this one is the afternoon, whenever you can make it. If you at this email address here, just so that I know you saw this video, just so that I know you, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, please, um, I get back to you a lot faster than if you wait for me. Um, I hate to put the pressure on you, but you might have two or three kids, and I have about 120, so it might take me some time to get to you, and some students I never get to because they're doing okay. So this gets you to me really quick, and I respond right away, within a day or two. Um, actually, text message is even better, so if, if we've been texting with each other, thank you. That actually helps a lot. What happens is students, especially in high school, they feel like, oh, I have more freedom now, I can get away with stuff, and they start to settle. So an 80 looks good to them when they can really get a 90. And the difference between an 80 and a 90 could be a college scholarship. So I would like to push them as hard as I can. And students, they, although they pretend they don't like it, if they know that their parents and their teacher, it's like almost like a third parent temporarily, um, is on top of them and cares about them and is really trying to get them to do better, they kind of, they do. do. They do do better and they like that. So um, I really like the communication here. Please reach out to me and I'll get right back to you. Um, here's other ways that you could help me is check your child's work. And some people come to me and, oh, well, you know, I wasn't good at math. I, I, I don't need you to do the math. All you gotta do is open up the book and say, let me see the date and let me see your notes. Did you take notes today or not? That's it. And if, if the child is, is lying, and some students do this, they just change the date on top. So take a closer look at the work. Is it new? Is it fresh? Is it five days worth of stuff for the week? Or is it just one day, the same thing, repeated, repeated? So check their work, make sure they're actually showing up to class and doing their work. Especially whatever their first period class is, definitely check that class because um, kids are starting to come later and later and it really affects their education. Um, I, I got smart kids that are just not coming. So please, please reach out and let's talk about what we can do for that. I have videos on YouTube, so even if your, your child is absent, they could make up the work by watching the videos. So I, I feel like laziness is not an excuse here. Make up the work, come see me the next day. You know what, I missed the class, but I still watched the video. I have the information right here. Here's how you can stay on top of your child's grades. Peoplepath.scheduler.com, hopefully you've been using that. Some kids come to me and they're like, oh, I, don't, I haven't used that in months. Try to check it at least once a week, if not more. Um, I try to update it about once a week, so you can definitely stay up um, with that. What this does is it tells you, the, the kids, not only their grades, but how they got those grades, you know, what assignments are missing. You get your own password, and there's a, code, a registration code, and I believe you need your child's student ID number. Once you get that set up, you're good. If you can't figure that out, give me an email, I'll try to help you out. All right, so please, I would love to stay involved. I would love to see your child not just get 80s, but 90s, but scholarships. I love when they come to me senior year and they're like, hey, can you write me a recommendation and actually have something good to say instead of, mm, uh, you were absent that day and I, you know, I forgot what you did here. So um, please, 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 I'm reaching out to you now so that you can reach out to me as often as possible. Thanks a lot for watching. See ya.